In March 2017, Israeli News published a provocative story entitled, Fallen Angels Are Imprisoned in Antarctica and Are Still Alive. The commentator, Stephen Ben Nunn, analyzed the apocryphal book of Enoch, which describes the experiences of Enoch, a pre-flood biblical figure, who was taken to the heavens to witness and play a key role in an important celestial conflict. Enoch became the main intermediary between the two sides of the conflict, between the fallen angels and the righteous angels who serve a deity that everyone refers to as the Lord. There were multiple problems in the conflict, such as the crossing of the fallen angels and, or conducting genetic experiments with humanity, and the transmission of forbidden knowledge and technologies to developing human civilization. The Book of Enoch begins with the arrival of 200 fallen angels in the area of Mount Hermon, which borders on present-day Lebanon and Syria. The fallen angels began to cross and genetically modify the local inhabitants. While the fallen angels had established an outpost on Mount Hermon, it was in Antarctica that they would eventually be eliminated after losing the celestial battle with the righteous angels, according to Ben Nunn's analysis of the Book of Enoch. He quotes passages from the Book of Enoch that are very suggestive of Antarctica as the place where he was taken to Enoch to witness heavenly events. And I saw the winds on earth that sustain the clouds, and I saw the paths of the angels. I saw it at the end of the earth, the sky above. And I went south, and it burned day and night, where there were seven mountains of precious stones, three to the east and three to the south. And the middle one reached heaven. Book of Enoch 18, 5-8. What is interesting in the previous passage is that Enoch refers to a place that burned day and night. Ben Nunn believes that this fits the description of Antarctica during the summer season in the southern hemisphere when there is 24-hour sunlight. This phenomenon, known as Aurora Australis or Southern Lights, can be visible from the southern high latitudes in Antarctica, Australia, New Zealand, Chile, and Argentina. Regarding the Seven Mountains, this seems to refer to Mount Vinson in the Antarctic Sentinel Range, according to Ben Nunn. It also refers to six nearby mountains in the range that could qualify as the mountains described in the Book of Enoch. Mount Vinson is the highest mountain in Antarctica and is located towards the center of the Sentinel Range. I would have stood out so spectacularly with its snow-capped peaks in ancient times, as it does today. Regarding the south and east alignment of the six mountains adjacent to Mount Vinson described in the Book of Enoch, Ben Nunn speculates that this was his alignment before the catastrophic flood event, which coincided with a change in the axis of rotation of the land. This corresponds to the research carried out by Sir Charles Hapgood, who claimed that pole changes have been a regular occurrence in Earth's history. In his 1958 book, The Earth's Changing Crust, Hapgood proposes that there has been a pole shift at the end of the last ice age, around 11,000 BC. The conjecture of Ben Nunn is interesting, but as you can see on the map showing the Sentinel Mountain Range where Mount Vinson is located, there are many more mountains in the mountain range. Ben Nunn's conjecture is inconclusive, as he points out. However, it gives us a possible location where the Fallen Angels, Mount Vinson, or the other six mountains in the Sentinel Range could be imprisoned. Ben Nunn's reference to fallen angels who are still alive in his Antarctic prison raises an intriguing possibility. The Book of Enoch describes a future, year of mystery, when they will be released. Is this an event that we will witness shortly?